Hey guys, welcome back to The VoIP guys. Uh, we're going to start with a new to topic today, as we promised last time, and we're going to start with the topic of SIP, uh, which means, Matthias... We used it already a lot. We have used it a lot already. But we did not understand anything, so it yeah. just worked. Okay, so we're going to have a bit of an uh, introduction to session initiator protocol today. Yes, uh, a reintroduction if you want to. Okay. And um, we go through how it works. Mm -hmm. Why uh, do we do this now? Um, because in one of the next videos or in the next video series, mm -hmm. we want to connect SIP providers, SIP gateways and stuff like this. So it sort of makes sense to have a bit of an understanding as yes. to what we're actually going to be using. Yes, because it's maybe a little bit more difficult as you think mm -hmm. to connect a SIP provider. And for sure, if you have not a kind of template or something which you can just type off, mm -hmm. you have to understand the whole right. SIP protocol, mm -hmm. not in detail, but you should have the basics okay. and mm -hmm. understand the protocol because otherwise you have no chance to debug it. Right. Because you don't understand it, you don't know what's normal, what's not, how should it work, and then mm -hmm. it's just no way to debug it. Yeah, and I was going through a, a template, well not a template, we were actually integrating a trunk uh, with uh, the support team yesterday mm -hmm. and getting all these uh, error codes. I would have no chance if I didn't have a support technician with me. So we make the videos together now, and yeah. then you change to the support team. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm, no. I'm happy where I am, yeah. thank you. <laughs> okay, good. So, in that case, uh, where do we start? We start with the SIP protocol itself, and mm -hmm. I have a slide here out okay. of our training um, material, um, where you can see how the SIP protocol works. And the first thing, which is really, really important to understand is that the, the SIP protocol is just made for session initiation. Okay. So, um, to explain that, um, you can initiate any connection mm -hmm. and then send any data. Right. So, it's not um, only for voice. Mm -hmm. You could send also video D or, or even data. something like a download. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's just there for uh, to, to make the initial setup of mm -hmm. So okay. basically, it's, it's the starting protocol for the session? Yes. Okay. And okay. so, it's called session initiation protocol because you start a session. Right. A okay. session with dates and where communication is, mm -hmm. not a stateless session, but a right. special session. Okay. And then there is, this is the SIP protocol, and the SIP protocol is often configured as UDP, mm -hmm. and it has the port 5060 per default. Okay, what's UDP? What's UDP? <laughs> okay, the IP protocol has TCP and UDP. Right, yeah. And um, this is UDP, this is stateless. Okay. Because um, all the state stuff is done in the SIP protocol itself. Mm -hmm. um, and so UDP was the first choice. There is a TCP implementation for it. Mm -hmm. Asterisk can do both UDP and TCP SIP. Okay. Um, if you want to do encryption and if you want to encrypt the session setup itself, not only the voice, then mm -hmm. you need to switch to TCP. But that's too much for now. So for now, understand. Yeah. If the acronyms have got too much for you, don't worry, they'll be in the blog post. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's in most cases UDP mm -hmm. and 5060. Okay. Um, and this is where the communication is and where the session is initial, initialized, if you want to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then there is another protocol that's directly attached to the SIP protocol. This is the session description protocol. Mm -hmm. So what's the session description pro protocol? As the name says, it <laughs> describes something. <laughs> that's about the, it's in the session, I take yes, it. Yes, <laughs> right, that's gotcha. true. So what can you describe in a session? You can say which codec you want to use. Mm -hmm. A codec is how um, is the payload, the speech, mm -hmm. um, how is it transformed to packets? Okay. and retransform to our analog ears. Right. So yeah. um, that's how it works. And um, this you can describe in the session description protocol. Which uh -huh. codec do you want? Which port do you, do you want? want? Okay. So this is the next very important thing to understand. If the SIP protocol itself communicates over port 5060, mm -hmm. they can agree about another port, some ah. port, and then the speech or the payload, which could be speech or video or, mm -hmm. or data, what's, what's, what's described in the SDP, mm -hmm. um, then you send it 
And this could be sent to complete different ports, not 5060, but they agree about uh, UDP high ports, some port um, okay. above 1025 or some port on the other side. And then the communication is done from one port to the other and uh -huh. it is not 5060, it's a different port. Uh -huh. And the session initiation protocol with the session description protocol talks about what do you like, I like this codec, I like that codec. Uh -huh. Our, um, we agree about codec blah 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 and we agree about this and that port. Okay. So it's all done and please if you go back to the slide, it's all done in SIP and in session description protocol. Uh -huh. And then you can see the payload itself, here is a gap between, so yep. the payload itself can take a complete other way mm -hmm. than um, the session um, initiation in the session description. Okay. So they can, um, the first mistake, the first common mistake is, okay, I open port 5060 in mm -hmm. my firewall yep. that my site A can communicate with site B, mm -hmm. for instance. Yeah. And then they wonder, okay, the phone is ringing. Mm -hmm. And then they pick up the phone because the signaling works. Yep. So they pick up the phone and then they say, hello, and then they can hear nothing. Uh -huh. Or another issue is, um, that your firewall allows all communication from A to B, mm -hmm. but no communication from B to A. So because you uh, do an NAT network yeah. or something like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you have the famous one-way audio <laughs> that you just hear. Um, <laughs> the, you, well, no, the other person the will hear you, person. but you won't hear them. Correct. So, yeah. Okay. And that's one of the most mistakes that mm -hmm. you don't understand why are there the different ports Right. And, and um, what do I have to open in my firewall or allow in my network? Mm -hmm. So this is the first common mistake. Okay. And I think that's it for today. That is quite a lot. Understand that. Yeah. Read the blog article. <laughs> yeah. And we try to yeah, write it in simple words that mm -hmm. you can follow us. Yeah. And then uh, we go more in more detail in the next video. Okay. Well, there you have it. That is um, quite a in-depth introduction to SIP. Uh, I hope you were able to follow that. If not, check the blog post and uh, it'll or be... Or just skip those tutorials and go to the <laughs> next tutorial. But it's very, it's very yeah. essential to it understand. It is important it. to understand. Um, so yeah, we will be back next week with um, more yeah, introduction, well, more advanced SIP protocols tutorials. So thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.